everybody. I'm WPTV anchor Chris Gilmore here with some very special guests who you may or may not have seen already this week. They've been making a lot of headlines. I'm talking in particular about not Caitlin Vidal, even though she is important in this, but the real star of the show, not me, not Caitlin, but Betty the Frog, who was just recently named Cadbury's Bunny of the Year. It's for an Easter contest. And now the cool part about all this is Caitlin is actually from Stewart. Uh, thanks for joining us, Caitlin. How are you? Hi, thanks for having me. What a week, huh? Yep, it's been pretty crazy. <laughs> now, guys, this is on Facebook Live, so as we uh, start our conversation, go ahead and send us any questions or comments or uh, anything you want might want to have answered. Uh, Caitlin would do the best to interpret Betty's response to hear her there. Um, first off, how'd you hear about the contest and what made you think Huh, my frog might be a good contender for this. Um, my mom actually um, heard about the Cadbury Bunny Contest on um, news, and she told me that I should enter the frogs. And I have four of them, so I quickly took all their pictures and submitted it. Um, and surprisingly, uh, Betty got all the way to finalist, and she won. Would you say Betty's the most photogenic? Um. I think she was probably one of the easiest ones to get, like, for the video specifically, like, good clips of. Um, she doesn't, like, jump away as often as some of the other frogs. So she's probably the best frog for the job. Yeah, she seems very at home in your hands. I'm just curious because I'm sure if people aren't asking already, how do you get into, I don't know, the hobby or, or, or lifestyle or, or however you want to call it, of, of owning frogs? Is it something mm -hmm. that you've been fascinated with for a long time or how does, did it? happened by accident i'm curious mm -hmm. um last year actually is when it started um one of these cute little white street frogs just popped up on my instagram for you page and um i kind of went down the rabbit hole of um just wanting one um i just thought it'd be really cool to have one and um so me and my roommate actually um bought two together and um, took care of them and then we ended up getting Betty. Um, they're really fun pets, but of course I do recommend if you want one to do your research because there is a certain way to take care of them and a certain way that you shouldn't. So did you go to your local pet store? Or did you have to order this or travel? How did, how did that work? Um, we found her at a local pet store. Um, our first two we got at Repticon actually. Um, but yeah. Okay. And now she's a Martin County resident, but also I guess he, would you call it her like your emotional support pet over it? Because you're a student now. It's a stressful yes. time uh, for, you know, mm -hmm. for exams. For sure. Yeah. Um, I actually do suffer from anxiety. And that's another reason why we got into um, getting a frog. Because um, even though it may seem silly, like pets, any type of pet um, can really be and have like a positive impact on mental health. And I think having her um, has really helped me and my roommate um just with our stress management and just having something to take care of. It's really fun and nice. Now, how, how does that work in terms of calming you down? Because even when she's in your hand, she seems very active. You have to mm -hmm. keep a hold on her. What, what does she do to calm you down? Um, I think just like she brings us joy for the most part, like watching her um, just in her tank mostly, um, seeing her in her natural habitat. They're just really funny. She just knocked off her, her hat. They definitely have personalities um, and I think just like bringing us joy is really um, the thing. And just having control of like taking care of her um, is also really helpful with the stress um, too. Right now, I'm sure you've had feedback on both ends. I'm seeing some comments here, from, one from Connie saying, um, as much as you love the frogs, she says she hates them and they give her anxiety. What, what, what kind of feedback have you got even before you won the contest about, oh yeah, this is Caitlin and her roommate. They have frogs. <laughs> Yeah, most people I was surprised really liked Betty. Um, I think most frogs like, yeah, like aren't the cutest, but dumpy tree frogs, white tree frogs, um, they just have really pretty colors and just the cutest little faces. Um, and they're not slimy like you may think. They're um, the, the producer that filmed her on Saturday actually described her as silly putty. Um, she's really cold, but she's not like slimy at all. Well, that's awesome. Guys, keep it coming with the questions while we have Caitlin here. Thank you so much for uh, taking her time out of her day and, and Betty's as well. As you heard, she's been mm -hmm. filming commercials and all kinds of stuff for Cadbury. So um, tell me what your reaction when you found out that you won. Here is a, you know, it's, it's kind of out of the species requirement. I don't know if you found a loophole mm -hmm. in rules or something like that for the contest. But uh, 
they, they contacted you and let you know that, hey, we think we're, we want to go with Betty? Mm -hmm. I think as soon as they saw um, a frog like this, um, I think they definitely wanted her, um, to be honest. Um, I think, like, although she's not like a furry animal, um, she just is very photogenic and was perfect at the shoot. Um, she was able to, like, hold the Cadbury eggs, and it just was really cute with her size and stuff. And um, I think she was really good for the, the commercial. It must have been a proud frog mom moment for you, huh? Mm -hmm, for sure. I was super surprised, um, honestly. But I think once we got to the finalist, I thought we had a pretty good shot at it. Um, but I'm really glad we did. The prize, of course, $5,000 is really um, exciting, too. And um, we'll all be going towards my grad school since I'm going to University of Central Florida for um, my master's this summer. Uh, double congratulations for you. And also somebody's Thank pointing you. out uh, you and Betty are now ambassadors <laughs> for Martin <laughs> County, as you see there. Uh, it, it's a great thing to do to put the, the, the county and Stewart on the map. Um, one question that I saw pop up here uh, went from Sharon Jersey. She, I know that Betty's not your only pet frog, as you mentioned, but how do you tell them apart? They all look um, pretty different. Actually, um, Betty and one other frog that we have, sometimes they are the same shade of green. And I did one time mix them up and started taking pictures of him thinking that he was Betty. Um, but I soon realized it wasn't because he wasn't cooperating um, as well as Betty usually does. But like I said, they all have different personalities. Um, so you really can tell like once you get to know them. That is so awesome. Now, one question that I have is the the costumes, the little headdress that you have for Betty. Oh, uh -huh. there she goes. She jumped, yeah. <laughs> Feel free to go get her. Um, do, do you have any others or was that just a one-time thing? Do they like dressing up? Um, they We like only dress them up with hats. Um, my boyfriend actually 3D prints. He's a mechanical engineering student at UCF. And um, he's been 3D printing us hats, which are really funny. We sold them for a while, actually, on my Instagram page for Have other any others frogs. within his reach that you can show us? Um, no, I don't. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, sure they're out in the living pictures. room. But um, yeah, we have like little tiny cowboy hats and different things like that. Um, the top hat's my favorite. And that's where we had the idea to use a top hat and just attach some felt bunny ears that I made um, right onto it. Because when I went to the store to look for bunny ears, I couldn't find any small enough for the frogs. <laughs> And then Valerie's asking on Facebook, was it hard to do the commercial? I know you guys filmed it already this past weekend. What was mm -hmm. that it's like? The commercial was actually really fun to shoot. Um, I think, um, at least from what I was expecting, um, she behaved really well. Um, of course, there were certain times where we had to keep like adjusting her because they needed a certain angle for the, the shot and the commercial. But um, we got it pretty quickly and she she just did the cutest things. And I think they really um, liked it. The producers really liked it. That's awesome. Guys, keep it coming with the questions. Thank you so much, Caitlin and Betty, for joining us again. The 2021 Cadbury Easter eggs this year or Easter <laughs> bunnies this year. Um, are you normally even big into to Easter or, or holidays or I guess frogs make you? <laughs> that way. Yeah, Easter is actually one of my favorite holidays. Um, we, I mean, Jesus is the reason for the season, but um, it's fun to have like all the the egg hunts and um, the decorations are really fun. And then just getting with your family. Um, last Easter was a little different because of COVID. So I'm looking forward to this one um, to be a little bit back to normal. Okay, more about Betty. Um, I'm sure this is all written up in some of the the stories I've already seen, I feel like I already know her a little bit, but but tell us about Betty, what type of frog she is, how old she is, mm -hmm. and uh, whatever other details you have. She's an Australian white tree frog. Um, she's less than a year old. Uh, we've only had her for, um, I think since last September. Um, but yeah, she's really cool. They're naturally, like their natural habitat is like the Amazon um, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, she eats crickets. <laughs> is she going to get much bigger than that? Uh, we don't think so. She's a girl, so she's actually a bigger sized frog um, than the other little boys we have. They're a little smaller, um, but this is like a normal healthy size for them. So I think she'll stay like this. Yeah, Amanda's asking how old Betty is, and you said just under a year old there. Mm -hmm. um, and what's their life expectancy, do you know? Um, it can go like up to 20 years, so it's actually quite a while. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So she, she might be another contender. First stop Easter Bunny. Who knows? Next, maybe mm -hmm. she uh, might give 
you know, Punxsutawney Phil or run for his money or something like that <laughs> on Groundhog Day. Who knows? Um, what, what has the response been like? Or here's here's another question we have from from Quell. She says, love the idea of Betty as a tourism ambassador, maybe <laughs> with a sea creature to represent the beaches, too. Who knows? There's the frogs are semi aquatic, right? Does, does Betty love some water, some humidity? She does. They they soak up. They don't like drink water. They just like sit in water and they soak it up, and that's how they hydrate. So she spends a lot of time just sitting in her water bowl. Uh, what? How has her schedule changed recently um, with all this newfound fame? Does she have any social media pages that are exclusive to her now? I'm sure a lot of people have been wanting more mm -hmm. of her. Yeah, people have been asking for that, but I've just been keeping it with my like group frog Instagram since it already has so many followers. Um, it's at Charlie and Gilbert on Instagram, um, but we might have to go and make her her own account. Um, it would be nice. Um, her other frog siblings must be getting a little jealous of all the attention. Yeah, I think so. They stay in their tank and I'm mostly holding her now. Um, but yeah, I mean, technically she's like they're nocturnal, so she should be sleeping right now and would be up at night, but she's been up for most of the day because of the interviews. Oh man, up past her bedtime. Here's an interesting question mm -hmm. from Charles. Can you train them to do anything or come when you call? <laughs> I, I honestly don't think so. Um, haven't tried, but they're not the smartest animals, um, to be completely honest. Um, someone in the video, there's a, a part that looks like she's putting on her hat and they actually thought that I trained her to do that, but it's actually just a clip of her taking it off just because she knocked it off and I, um, reversed it. So, yeah. Uh, people are thinking about the ears. Um, would you mind putting Betty closer up to the camera so we can get a close look at that? Guys, these are what her boyfriend, the mechanical engineer crafted on a 3D printer and a head trip <laughs> up. <laughs> It doesn't Sorry. get more live than this, guys. <laughs> you got a quick glimpse of, of the headdress that, that was crafted there, made out of bunny ears. That's what captured national attention there. Betty the Frog. <laughs> it's okay. We don't want to mess up your, your, your camera. But as you can see, just like Caitlin said, they're not slimy. You don't see slime all mm -hmm. over the camera. So they're actually a lot more cute and cuddly than you would think. And I, I have to say, not being the biggest fan, Betty might be the frog to make people like frogs. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, she's changing a lot of opinions, all of America's heart over there. Um, <laughs> what, what, what's been some of the interesting reaction that you've gotten that, that you didn't expect, other than obviously the, the, the great $5,000 that you're going to use towards grad school? What mm -hmm. else has come out of this for you? Just like so much support and love. Like the amphibian community overall like there's there's quite a few people that actually do really love frogs and they're really big on facebook and instagram um all the people on frog spotting is a facebook group that i'm in now and they've just been so loving and kind um i haven't received much hate which is just so sweet to say um and it's just been really fun um thing to talk about uh, aside from obviously the love and support that you've gotten I want to know, have, have you received any Cadbury eggs out of all this? Cadbury eggs? Um, no, I actually haven't. Um, we actually went and bought some um, for her little shoot, and um, I have eaten a fair amount, but um, all we get from Cadbury is the commercial and the 5,000. Well, it's certainly a cool story to tell. What have you been telling uh, your friends back home or even at school? Are they like, oh, you're the, you're the frog girl. You're, you're Betty's mom. Honestly, I think they're a little annoyed that that's all I'm talking about now. <laughs> but um, my roommate, she has the same love for Betty as I do. Um, she helps me take care of the frogs. So um, we both love it so much. Are they your only pets, the frogs? Do you have any other animals? Um, at, at school, those are our only, only pets. Yep. Okay. And it must be a rarity for on a college campus to find students with pets like that. Do, do, are there... Mm -hmm. is a reptile or amphibian club on campus that you can find support not in? Or that I know of. of. Not that I know of. Okay. Well, like you said, uh, for those of you who are just joining us, one thing that you might not know about Betty, she's been like a huge emotional support to Caitlin. And at a time when you need it in school mm -hmm. and during the pandemic year and stuff like this, uh, what are you soon to graduate there at UCF? Yes, I'm actually graduating this May, and then I'll be starting graduate school a few weeks after. Okay, so that scholarship money or the Cadbury Prize money couldn't come at a better time for you. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to be going to grad school for? Speech language pathology. Perfect. Well, a big congratulations. And you got a lot of hometown support here and our viewers. That I'm sure not only happy for Betty, but happy for you. And uh, mm -hmm. 
uh, having a, a great future that you can uh, maybe even bring home to, to Stuart. Um, mm -hmm. There we have a comment from Martha. We'd love to show you around your local government and treat you to be <laughs> at the county. Oh, That's God. so funny. We, we, gotta, we gotta really save, hold you to that. We might maybe have some cheese to the city, a steward for mm -hmm. Ben, who knows? I don't wanna get too ahead of ourselves, but. <laughs> If anyone wants to support my graduate education, that's really what we're going for. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Um, again, and I'm sure people are going to want more Betty even beyond this interview. Yeah. So go I'm ahead sure. just one more time for the people who are logging on or going to be listening. Tell us where they can <laughs> find. <laughs> I was going to say where they can find Betty on social media, but apparently it's right on, on the camera. <laughs> yes, you can find um, her posts at Charlie and Gilbert. Um, those are the names of our two original frogs, um, but maybe there'll be um, a Betty page coming soon. Okay. And when, do you know when the, the Cadbury commercials are going to start airing? I believe they'll be airing on Friday is when they start, but there's like a sneak peek video on YouTube on the Hershey's account. Perfect. Perfect. Everybody is really throwing their love and support at you guys right now. Thank you so much for, for joining us and, and making mm -hmm. time. I know during your busy school day uh, <laughs> and week, but uh, anything else you want to say just in reaction to this? I mean, it's it's a national uh, award or a recognition for Betty. Does, mm -hmm. does Betty have anything to say? She's been very quiet. Do they even make any noise? Um, girl, white street frogs do not make any noise, um, but the boys do croak. Um, but I guess we would just like to say thank you so much for everyone who voted and all the support. Um, we're just so happy that she's bringing so many people joy um, during this um, weird time that we're in. Um, we love, um, we just love this. It's so much fun. Awesome. Awesome. And thank you, Caitlin, for your time. Thank you, guys. It's your uh, last few seconds to get in any questions. All I'm seeing are happiness and congratulations. <laughs> oh, one person said, your mom's my teacher. I, is your mom in the, the steward? Yes, my mom um, is actually a teacher in Palm Beach County um, at Independence Middle School. And they were a big um, support during this. They voted every day and it, it was really nice. Oh, so it wasn't just the Cadbury folks. People had people voted for, for Betty. This yes. The, um, the yeah. Story. There was a week where um, you could vote once a day. And so that's where we got. That's where we won. Um, they America got to vote. <laughs> so maybe I should be giving a shout out to your mom, not just to you and Betty. Yep. Shout out to my family, my friends, for sure. That's, you you were probably a big cheerleader that week, getting everyone to, to hop on and vote, huh? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you so much again for making time for us. And guys, this is not the last you're going to see of Betty. Like Caitlin said, life expectancy up to 20 years and commercials <laughs> start airing on Fridays. So she's going to be coming to a, a television or a screen near you.